Hi there everyone, it's Anthony and I am back for another Dexter reaction. This is season two, episode two. It's called Waiting to Exhale and yeah, you know I can't wait. I mean, I just finished episode one of season two and thought it was great. Super excited to see what's gonna happen this season now. You know, like I predicted, I think they're going the direction of having Dexter have to figure out a way to stop other people from figuring out what he's got going on because right now there's all kinds of opportunities for people to figure out so i'm just looking forward to seeing where they're going to take that this episode i wonder if anything is going to happen with deb hitting that guy in the bar i wonder what the fallout of paul dying is going to be i hate to see what the kids reaction is so yeah man um waiting to exhale i don't know what that title might mean maybe it has something to do with dexter wanting to be alive who knows let's go ahead and get into it Dexter, Season 2, Episode 2, Waiting to Exhale. Mm. So is he really completely letting him go now? Like, is that actually, like, you know, the end of, like, Dexter's struggle with his, you know, relationship with the ice truck killer and being his brother and whatnot like now has he officially let him go and he's not going to be influencing his subconscious anymore all right so i really like this episode i think that thematically it was really interesting looking at um you know grief and how people deal with death because i think that that's something that dexter probably doesn't consider a lot despite the fact that death is such a central part of his life i don't think he thinks about you know what happens next and how it affects the people that are around these people that die because I mean even though they're serial killers I'm sure they have people around them that care about them so I think that this episode and you know this season Dexter's been able to see that firsthand you know not only through Rita and the kids and seeing them react to Paul's death but then of course his own brother dying at his own hands and clearly that's been something that's been bothering him this entire season so far so i think that that funeral that they went to this episode where rita and the kids got to you know pay their last respects to paul and whatnot and say goodbye i think that really acted as a conduit for dexter to finally get to a point where he was able to say goodbye to his brother and hold like that little mini funeral out in the water because you can actually see that sort of shift in perspective because at first he was just like what's the big deal why don't you just why don't you just have the county bury him? It'd be way cheaper. Use the insurance money for something else. And, you know, when I, when I first saw that, I was definitely just looking at it like, oh, that's just Dexter, you know. He doesn't care about Paul. He, he doesn't think Paul's worth this. But really, you know, I mean, that's just a big look at Dexter as a character and what he thinks about death. He doesn't think of it like a big deal in a way. Like, he's like, okay, he died. Like, okay, so why, what's the point of this funeral and this whole you know presentation and whatnot you can just bury him and get it done with which is the practical way to do it but not the human way to do it <laughs> funny enough and dexter you know is oftentimes trying to learn the human ways to do things and so i think by the end of the episode we see that you know he actually has kind of reached this point where he understands that he needs to do that sort of symbolic gesture to really say goodbye and to really move forward with his life. I really like that Dexter is kind of back on his game again this episode. Um, I'm sure, I don't I don't know how, if that's gonna continue him being kind of shaky or now that he's gotten rid of his brother's memory for the most part it seems, that means he's gonna be back, you know, more cold-hearted killer. But um, it was, you know, it was nice to see him back on his game this episode. And I imagine throughout the season, he's going to be having plenty of reasons to have to stay precisely on his game. You know, he's still taking bodies out to the water. I like that he's got a better plan for them now. Although, it still seems kind of not smart to me. Because now that there's an active hunt for a serial killer who is getting on a boat and taking bodies out and dumping them in the water. It just seems like, you know... It would be a lot harder for him to do that without being seen by somebody. It seems like the police would be actively looking out for people doing that. So, so far this season's really been hitting it out of the park with the Dexter story, I think. Um, in terms of the other characters, the B storylines, C storylines, so far they haven't been as strong to me as they were last season. Like, it just feels like maybe... It, I mean, 
I don't I wouldn't say it's bad or anything and it's and I think so far it's only two episodes in but by next episode I feel like we need to get a new type of progression or direction in some of these things because I don't want them to just start to stall too long like you know the lieutenant having um, issues with her fiance and kind of bringing that to work and um, you know dokes following Dexter and Dokes, I guess, wanting to work with this FBI guy, which I guess was really just brought up this episode for the most part. Even though it was brought up last episode, but this episode, I think, was the first one where Dokes said something to him. And it turned out he was just too good of a leader or something like that. But, yeah, I don't know. For the most part, it felt like, really, it's just been so strong on the Dexter side of things. The other characters, like, you know, we haven't really been getting the same as strong of character moments or character beats for them. So I'm hoping that, you know, some of these other storylines are going to develop more. And, like, even Deb, you know, her kind of going off the deep end thing was crazy that she pulled a gun on the guy this episode. Like, geez, I was like, okay. So I'm hoping next episode, I, I mean, I'm liking this Deb one so far. Really, I am. I'm hoping next episode, you know, they take it a step further. And now we, I don't want to see just another, like, you know, the first one, she hit a guy in the bar. The second one, she pulled a gun on the guy. So I'm kind of hoping they don't just do like another thing to show, oh no, Deb's going crazy. I want them to kind of propel that story forward in a way now in the next episode. So the whole thing with Rita and the addiction and all that, I'm, I'm interested to see where that's going to go. It's a little weird to me, like that that's the conclusion that Rita came to. I mean, it just feels, I mean, like, think about what you just found out. Like, this guy attacked him and went did all that to set him up in this perfect manner. Like, I mean, like, that is kind of evidence that Dexter, he knew what he was doing. And not just in a, I'm an addict way. Like, I don't know. Like, it just seems like a weird conclusion for her to come to. But I feel like, you know, Rita, I mean, she seems like the kind of person that will come to that conclusion. Honestly, I don't know. I mean... I know she 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 does really like Dexter, and I've always appreciated their relationship. But I mean, I I think she might also be the type to you know make rationalizations and excuses for other people. I mean, I think she finally got past that with Paul, which is great, and um, she might be doing that with Dexter now too. Just because I mean, like I don't see how you like even if that's the conclusion you came to, the way she like just responded in that whole conversation like getting all like you know i mean like caring and like understanding for dexter i'm here with you through all of this like i mean he kind of just indirectly in a way killed your children's father like i mean i'm happy that they're still going strong right now but i don't know like i mean obviously she was happy he told the truth i mean and he did tell the truth he said and he even when he said he had an addiction he didn't specify to what but yeah i don't know man like it's just a weird conclusion to come to, but you know, I guess I just don't want for Rita's character to kind of jump the shark in a way and just become too dumb. Like, I mean, when certain things are not staring her in the face, but when certain things are starting to, you know, look fishy, I don't want it like her to just jump to these really weird conclusions and assumptions to, you know, just to keep Dexter as a character narr in a narrative sense safe. I just hope that when this is all fleshed out, it turns out that it's because of Rita's whole propensity to, you know, maybe make excuses for other people or rationalize other people's bad actions rather than her just being, you know, the dumb character that's there to make us almost think something's about to get found out. But then, oh no, luckily he still slipped one over on her. The character didn't find out, ha ha ha, he's still safe. Like, I don't know. I just don't want it to go that direction. Because then it can start to get kind of goofy and dumb. For a second there, I thought they were about to keep, you know, the um his brother on, Brian or whatnot, as like a recurring character throughout the throughout the season and maybe be like a visual representation of his dark passenger or something. I don't know, like somebody that he just always, he's just always seeing him pop up and say stuff to him. But it's looking like he's just killing him off. So I guess that's not going to happen. But yeah. Also, I never really mention it. I don't think, but I mean, I think the acting has been really good on this show and Michael C. Hall is killing it. Like, it feels like even this season, especially the way he's playing this sort of simultaneously Dexter have, still having no emotion, but also feeling more emotion than he's ever felt before. 
and I don't even know how that's possible or how that's happening, but that's the sense that I'm getting from him all the time now. Like, it feels like he's becoming more of a human in a way, while yet still, you know, he's he's still Dexter. So I think that the performance has been really good. I'm enjoying it. All right, so I guess that'll do it for my thoughts on this episode. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And that's going to be it for now. See you all later.